Now this poem is, I, when I read this book in year nine, this became one of my all-time favourite poems. Um, and it still probably is, I mean, maybe not as much, but it kind of meant a, a lot to me, this poem, because I did have a close friend pass away when I was in year 10, and this was a poem that was also used um, as part of her funeral, okay? So the poem is called Nothing Gold Can Stay, it's by Robert Frost. And I'm gonna say it out loud to you, and I want you to think about what you first think it's about, okay? So when you first hear this poem, what do you think it might be about? So the poem goes, nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold, her early leaves are flower, but only so an hour, the leaf subsides the leaf, so Eden sank to grief, so dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. Okay. <laughs> Who has any, any, there's no kind of right or wrong answers here, Rory, are you with us? Yeah. Yep. Like nothing gold can stay, like something, stuff that are precious. Can't stay for long. Yep, so things that are precious. So when we say gold, what might be precious? Watch. Money. Watch. Money. Well, oh, oh luxury, luxury stuff. So we're thinking about gold, we're thinking okay. about. Or it could be someone like you. <laughs> guys, I'm not going to, I won't talk this quite. So we're talking about material things. Um, Naz? It could be someone that you really love. Could be someone that you really love. Okay, so and I guess that line that Naz has jumped onto, nothing gold can stay, is probably one of the most popular lines, is the most popular line from that poem. It's that idea that literally things in life that, that bring beauty, and, and it is a bit of a somber depressing poem, but I'm gonna make sure I give it a positive twist so you don't walk out hating life. Um, anything with beauty, and you can think about it in your life, think of moments of excitement, it doesn't last. Things don't stay. But... Would you like me to press record, Miss? Is it recording? No. Yes, no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's recording. It's recording. That's okay. That's okay. Um, oh, jokes. Oh, oh my God. It was it recording is. the whole time. It was. Right. No, no, I just couldn't see the number. It was just about to stop it. So, we found, uh, but what I want us to do as a class, this poem has a literal meaning and it has a metaphorical meaning. Ooh. Okay? What do I mean? And the reason why we're doing this is you're going to have to answer right. questions about this poem. So, firstly, before we continue on with the analysis of it, we're going to look at what you're going to have to answer so you know as we're talking about it and as I'm doing my ramblings of a poem I love. I don't know if you've noticed when I love something, I just get a little bit excited. Excited, yeah. Like, like the basketball game. Um, so you will have to match the following ideas to the correct stanza. So match, which one means which. Um, what do you think the poem is saying? How can this apply to the novel, characters in the novel? And then can you think of a time in your life you can relate to it? But I want to start off first we're breaking this up line by line because there is, a, like I said, there's a literal meaning of this and there's a metaphorical meaning. And I'm going to do some really bad drawing because yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. it is oh, bad yeah. because I cannot draw. So first one we have is nature's first green is gold. Yes. If we yes. think about nature, okay, this is the literal meaning. Here. Think about nature. Think about the day. Think about how the day begins. Sun's, sun, the Sunset's gold. So the sun? sun. What does the sun first do? Rises. Rises, rises, rises yeah? yeah. Sunset. So, Sunset. When the sun rises, okay, it's gold. What would the colour green be in nature? Oh, the leaves. Leaves, grass, the trees. right? Yes. Sweet. So, I think I have a colour green marker here. Yeah. Yeah. I can make this actual colour. Nature. <laughs> I just want to see you talking. I'm talking. Okay, so the first thing we've got is when the sun comes up in the morning, so this is the grass and this is a tree. Mm. Alright, it's not that bad. Pretend this is the colour gold, yeah? When the sun is rising, mm. it makes it all look gold. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so nature's first green is gold. So nature, when the sun first rises, it makes all of nature look gold. Her hardest hue to hold. What's a hue? What's hue mean? You learn this in art. Hue. Hue. H-U-E. What does hue mean? We don't know. Oh, that. that's a name. Oh, I'm, I'm, wait, wait. H-U. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. If we go back to then, we know what are two kind of things they're referring to here? Uh, nature and sun and oh, colors. Colors. Okay. Oh, okay. Cats 
so you know. So, so, so what? <laughs> what would a hue be then? What would a hue be? Colors. Give me a push you. Okay. Oh. Colors. <laughs> so, what? if we're saying nature's oh, first green right. is gold, yeah, the hardest hue to hold. What was that? What's that saying? What's the hardest color gold. to hold? Red. Gold. Yay! <laughs> so how hard is color <laughs> to hold? How hard is color to hold? Wait, what? Hold on. Right, is it because it always mm. has a rise? Well, because the sunrise is like short. Well done, because the sun keeps rising. Okay, so the hardest colour for nature to hold is the gold, is the oh, sun on it. Yeah? Okay, I'm giving you the literal meaning sure. here. So we're starting off, the first part of the day is gold because when the sun rises, it makes all the grass and trees and everything look gold. That's why nothing gold can stay. Her hardest hue is the hardest colour because how long does the sunrise take? Like only like 30 minutes, bro. 30 minutes, yeah? yeah? Well, Think about 24 so hours in a day, right? That's the shortest probably amount of time that it stays on it. So it stays on it. Her early leaves of flower, what, who wants to have a stab at what that might mean? Gold has. That's like the, like the first leaf that hit gold. No, the flower rises. Uh, uh, it's the first one to hit a flower. It blooms. Let's try it like this, okay? If the leaf. Is a flower known to what in terms of like nature? Flowers beautiful. Sunflower. Flower. Flower. beautiful. Oh no. Roses. <laughs> yeah, our flowers beautiful. Yeah, kind yeah. of sometimes. At least considered beautiful. No. Yeah. no. Not no. really. So if this if they're saying that gold is the most beautiful time and the leaf is a flower during that time, what is it saying? That it is beautiful during that time. Well done. That it's beautiful during that time. Yes. So during that time, the leaf looks like a flower. Because it's so beautiful. Oh, so the calling oh, leaves are ugly, but beautiful. when it's in the sun, yeah, it looks yeah. like flowers. Well done. Why the freaking is So her early leaves are flowers, so it would usually be a leaf. There's my leaf. That leaf's a flower. But what? it's got the gold on it. Oh it my god. Like yeah, but only a for an hour. But only for an hour. Why so only yes. for an hour? Because that's the time, like the time sequence. Well like done, because by the time the sun starts rising to the time it's at the very top, it. it's about an hour. Yeah. Okay? Oh. So it's only for an hour. Oh. So it's two leaves. Sorry, girls at the back, wait to be quiet. So leaf subsides to leaf. What so, do you think that might so mean? So it subsides to leaf. Ben, what are you saying? So don't so like, 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 the line. The leaf that was a flower in the Sorry, sunrise. Sorry, um, girls. Yep. When the sunrise, like, Disappears, the leaf, the, the leaf flower turns back to a leaf. Well done. So when the sunrise has disappeared, it just looks like a leaf again. That's <laughs> actually a lot. Okay, so the leaf that was a originally looking like a flower, oh, wow. it's back to being a leaf. Now he's going to challenge you guys. Who's going to who's going to be able to get this level? So who's Eden? Eden. So Eden is. So Eden is same to Greek. Go. Eden is. So Eden is kind of like. Sorry, Charlotte and Joy, let's speak one more time, you're separated. Because I've heard like the Garden of Eden. Yes. So, like Eden is kind of like Onto the this. garden or something. Like it's an, it's nature. Like, okay, we're right. So we have a Garden of Eden. So when the sunrise is a piece, it just looks boring, I guess. It looks it, boring, but it let's go. Because the sunrise has disappeared. Yep. Yeah. So Eden is grieving. But when you think of the Garden of Eden, what's, where's the Garden of Eden from? It's from um, the Bible. Yeah. yeah. Bible, yeah? The Garden of Eden is meant to be, it was extremely, wait, who knows the Bible? Who knows yeah. the Bible? She knows it. Um, me! I know that Eve so, ate the apple and then... No, so, wait, you guys. <laughs> the Garden of Eden, what was that garden meant to be like? It's supposed to be like... Oh, excuse me, I'm asking the Yeah. Yeah. What was the garden meant to be like? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be... Sorry, guys. We're asking my person here right now. Do you remember? <laughs> no? no? Charlotte, do you remember what the Garden of Eden is meant to be like according to the Bible? Is this supposed to be like a big tree? It's a big tree, but it's kind of... Who is that where the apple was? Where the, the apple, apple was, but it's meant to be originally perfect. No sin, pure. Okay? The Garden of Eden is the garden where Adam and Eve were. Yeah, okay. Look what happened. So, Satan made that. Well, no, Satan possessed like the apple. Right? So Satan was in the disguise of Satan. So the serpent, no, so the serpent was Satan in the in the, yeah, in the right. shape of yeah. the serpent. Um, so Eden started to grieve. So the Garden of Eden has started to grieve. 
Because why is the garden gra um, grieving? Because the sun went down. Because the sun's gone up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> God. the garden is grieving? So dawn goes down to bed. Dawn goes down to bed, that's pretty obvious. What does that mean? Sun goes down. Yes. Yeah. Sun's gone up. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> so dawn is gone and it's daytime. Oh, dawn's morning. Okay. Dawn's the morning. Dawn is morning. Oh, oh, and then what's the last one? Nothing gold can say. So, can someone please, and I only want one person speaking, try to tell me what the literal meaning of this is. Oh, it's about flower. It's like uh, flower. <laughs> 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 it's literally about the flower growing, or like the grass growing. Oh yes. Yeah. Mm, not quite. Howard's <laughs> <laughs> um, confused. So, so I'm confused. Miss, I'm confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. She literally said it before. Guys, look, come to time. It's about yeah. people dying. No, no. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want. But that is that is a metaphorical way of coming here. But no, I want the literal reason. No, no, I want the literal meaning by this. This is the literal meaning. Guys, quiet! Sorry. Is there like nothing perfect can stay forever? Yep, and that's the metaphorical meaning. I want the literal meaning, which we've literally just done as a class. Literally just gone through it. So, what do you think the literal meaning is? That the sun. So, Jerry, you need to learn for other people to speak, okay? Go, Simon. The sun's gold is only for a few. So the sun's gone last only for a few for an hour. Yep. Yeah. Well, did you get anything else to add? No. no? Maybe the best part of the day is sunrise. Like <laughs> so the best part of the day is sunrise. What what part of the day is this poem about? Sunrise. Sunrise. What's that? What's the saying happens when the sun rises? Everything's happy. Gold. Everything's golden. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Then once the sun leaves, and once the sun leaves, everything's back to dull and normal. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go read out each line. As a class, I'm gonna let you shout out. I don't know why I'm gonna let this happen, but you're gonna tell me what each line means. Nature's first green is gold. The sun rises. The sun rises. <laughs> Everything is gold. The trees with all the leaves. Well done. All the stuff that's green in nature is gold. Hey, no, hardest no. hue to hold. What's that no, mean? The hardest to mold. Hold? <laughs> what? Oh, the hardest hue to hold. What does that mean? Gold is hard. Gold is hard. Gold is hard. Yeah, gold is hard. Gold is hard. Gold gold is hard. hard. Yeah. It's gold is very important. Hard. But why is that nature's hardest hue to hold? Why is it the because hardest hue to hold? Away. Transform, do they? No, no, they pop out. Roll out. They look beautiful. Yeah. Okay. But no. only but only for an hour? For one hour, sixty minutes. What's the Joanna what's the what do I do? What? I do. Joanna, what's the one hour? So it says the leaf only becomes an hour for an hour. What might that hour be that time? It's the sunrise. Sun rising. <laughs> Then leaf subsides to leaf, so once the sun's back up in the sky, so we've got the, leaf the sun has come back up in the <laughs> sky just... in its spot now. The leaves, so that it's not coming down on the garden anymore. It doesn't glow. On the like garden, it gets, gets cool. So, it's so the leaves are leaves again? Yeah, not, yeah. not glowing leaves. Um, Joy, Eden's sinking to grief. What's Eden doing? What's the garden doing? Uh, I'm growing, growing. Sorry. <laughs> if Eden is sinking to grief, what's grief? Grief is like, oh, like sadness. Oh, sorry, sadness, mourning. Somebody died. Or like someone like grieving. Or someone like grieving, yes. Yeah. So if the garden, why is the garden grieving? Because the sunset is about to disappear. The sun rose. Well done, because the sun rose. Right. Sun rose. Yeah. So, so dawn goes yeah. down today and we've got that part there. Yeah. Nothing God can stay. Okay, so we've got, we've got the literal meaning. Now I'm going to give you the metaphorical meaning. I'm going to give this to you in high school language. Ooh. All right. Does that mean you've got to swear? No. no. Because oh. I might though. Oh, oh my god. Oh. 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 I'm going to give it to you in high school language, yeah? No. This is the way that, this is, this is why the poem, this poem I've always loved, and I haven't loved it because I'm not, I'm not obsessed with sunrises, right? I'm not like this poem so good because boom, the sun rises, it makes everything look awesome, and then it goes and bam, it's not gone anymore. anymore. Okay, Sometimes I'm not that obsessed with sunrises, believe it or not. I don't even I wouldn't even wake up really early to see the So the reason why I like this, 
I think about it, I remember like there was this like boy in high school I was obsessed with. I know it's funny, last mm -hmm. I was obsessed with a boy. Let's go. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> okay. You, you like started writing notes then. Like, that much is okay. Writing. So there's a, there's a funny part that I was obsessed with a boy in high school. Okay. And I remember being like, this guy's so hot. <laughs> like he's a snack, he's so hot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I'm like, this guy's so hot, and I thought I'd be like, cause that's a really nice, like, beauty, beauty spot. He has on his face. Like, so, 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 so nice. And and I was like, in that first, and now since his high school days, so we probably dated for like a whole month. Yeah, that's how like an eternity. Whole month, we probably bought each other like a ring and everything. Wow. But um, so I was like, that first week, I was obsessed. Mm -hmm. Okay, who can who can relate to this? That first week, you're like messaging each other, but we didn't have phones back oh, then, we didn't have internet back then. But we were messaging each other like crazy, and you're like, go, you're like, dating all the time. Pardon? FaceTiming. FaceTiming, whatever you do. <laughs> you're, you're, you're going, you know, you want to check your phone all the time, you want to wake up in the morning, you get anxious to check your phone, see if they sent you a message, all you think about, right? It's an obsession. <laughs> Things are perfect. Yeah. Okay? But then, but then, after a, couple, a week or two, they start farting in front of you. Oh, and you're no, like, fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 is this one? Is the relationship is a sunset? Is that nice? Oh, come on. Is it the So, at the start, like I said, this guy, let's call him Matt for just for just for sake of it. Matt is. Matt is hot as hell, right? Matt is so hot. I'm like, oh my god, it's all I think about. I get home, I can't eat, it's all I'm thinking about. I'm at netball training, but all I'm thinking about is Matt, right? It's just it's constant. It's right? so hot. I'm like, so Matt, and his, I actually wrote a song, a poem myself about Matt. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. I could probably be excited. Um, but, you know, and that beauty spot, well, hot beauty spot. Right? But then, like, after a week or two, I look at him a bit clearer. And I say, oh my gosh, that's not abuse, that's a huge pimple. <laughs> like, no, that's all right. And the whole time I said it's a huge pimple, and I thought it was a beauty spot, but it was so hot. And then like all those things that were really cute that I thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute how like he goes, ah, and things are funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really annoying. Like it's really annoying me. And like him always wanting to talk to me all the time, which was so oh my gosh, it was so good at the start. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, do you have a life? Like go do other things. Like, what are you doing? And then by the end of the month, I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's so annoying. Like just, just, oh my gosh, it's over. Yeah? So the start of it's like, I'm thinking about this gold at the start is what we call like the honeymoon period. Okay, you know what the honeymoon period is? The time when everything feels perfect. The time when, guys, FYI, when you're older, don't propose to someone in the honeymoon period. Because reality does kick in. Things, you can get to a better, deeper form kind of love. Right? But it's that start when everything seems perfect. We have this so with nearly everything in life. But I'm not going to end on the somber time, okay? We have it when you get a new job and you get so excited and you're like, boom, yeah, job at Macca's, bring it in the dough. And then you're like, after a couple of months, you're like, oh my God, I'll pick it up, go to my job, it sucks. Like, this sucks. I've got to, you know, flipping burgers. Yep. It's like that thing, um, like, cause I have like mates that have like swimming pool, and then like at first they said they always wanted a swimming pool, and then they said after like a week or two it just got boring. And they don't need then you have to wash it, clean it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This can also relate to, and this is obviously more upsetting tone. It can relate to death and people. Everyone that we know, and this is one of the suckiest parts of being human, is we know that everyone dies. Okay. It's one of the sucky parts of being human, it's the thing that connects us. We have that beauty and time with someone in our life, but then it will go away. It will pass. They won't be there forever. Okay? It's the moment of joy of having, you know, your a, a, a beautiful little baby and then they become like a teenager and that, that joy of the innocence is gone. It's about losing your innocence. Think about when you're younger, and one of the hardest times as a teenager is you lose that innocence. Think about the like Christmas now. Isn't what it was? I mean, I'm sorry, I know that not, not everyone is probably not everyone in this class does um, have Santa, but for those that do, it would be like to Christmas used to be this magical time, but now it's not so much. You might have. You might have other things in your life where they're magical. Now, the reason I don't want to leave this on such a somber tone is because new things come along. 
So that relationship that I had in high school that ended in a month, I don't want to sound like I was a bit of a hussy, but there was a few more relationships that came after that. Oh, oh, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like that relationship was the be all and end all. So if I put this in terms of my relationship, right? Nature's first freebie is gold. Oh, Matt, you're so beautiful. Why is she so beautiful? Right? Her hardest for you to hold. That was the hardest thing to capture onto. The hardest thing to keep is those rose-coloured glasses. So I think it's interesting. The saying is called rose-coloured glasses. Like you like seen it, like through the sun rising. Okay. Her early leaves to flower, so that beauty spot, to me, that pimple was actually a beauty spot because what was going to be, and suddenly, it looked different. But for only so an hour, it didn't last that long because it was the honeymoon phase, it was the start. That's a long-ass pimple, Miss. The leaves were size to leaves, so then it became, oh, you know, the beauty spots became, suddenly it became pimples. He didn't say to grief, I was like heartbroken. I was like, oh, this relationship isn't going to work. Dawn goes down to day, reality kicked in, it didn't stay. Okay? Yeah. And you guys should all be able to probably think of a time or something in your life where you can relate to this. Um, yeah, it was when Black Ops 2 didn't convert on top PS4. So, Jerry, Black Ops 2 came out, you were pumped, you were excited, did you convert? Okay, does anyone want to share a moment in their life where they think, hey, I can connect to this? No. <laughs> no. Anyone willing to share? Anyone being an absolute moment of bliss when they've got a new brother or sister and then No, yes! No, yes. no, 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 no. Apparently, apparently I was excited when I was when um Eli was born from us when we and then um and now I suddenly hate him. <laughs> You'll love him again. That that will come that will turn back around. That'll be a 360, trust me. Oh. Trust me, trust me, that, that'll, that'll turn around. I had the same with my sisters going up. So, can, what is the literal version of this? What is it about literally? Who wants to, I'm going to get someone who haven't, who haven't, someone right. hasn't spoken yet, oh, much. Right. Rasham, what is the, <laughs> what's the literal version of this about? Just have to say it in one sentence. I mean the real version. What's the first, first version we went through is this? Could you give me one word? One word that you think it might be about? Do you remember this part we talked about? Have a look at this. These drawings of the, the tree and the sun and the leaves. Do you know, you know the answers? Thinking about that, what do you think it might be about? Drop. No, Victor, what do you think? No. Oh, actually, I know. Literal version, literal. Oh, what does literal mean? Like oh, the actual version. Oh my god. <laughs> we're going to make this the real version. Oh, this is not, we're not, we're not going to pretend there's something else. We're looking at it. Oh, okay. Look at this. So, I think the literal version means, um, you see something? No, no, it's a metaphorical. Oh, I don't know what literal version means. Literal means, like, it's, 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 it's it's, it's literally what it's like. If you could read it and you could see it's literally this is what it's about. I don't know how to explain it. Why rescue? Why rescue? Can someone think of another way to explain the word literal for me? Because I don't need to think of the. Wait, sure, wait, wait. Wait, Victor, Victor. What does literal mean? What does literal mean? Tell me. Mrs. Lovett, this is what I'm telling you. What's the other meaning to this? 
<laughs> unrealistic. <laughs> Life? Yeah, what parts of life could it represent? Being born and death. Sorry, this um, part sorry. has a problem with answering for other people, yes. The part of life where you think it's going to be like all fun and it's going to last forever, but then like reality is too. Yep. And you just like, a little bit. Yep. So when things become, things become real, so what kind of things can that be? No, just a different part. Like being born, I should advise five times. Being born and then dying? Yep. Yeah. Being born and then dying. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and then everyone is in grief. Yeah, and this can be the circle of grief. Well done. So when I know that when my friend in high school had this um, in her eulogy, that we had the line, nothing gold can stay, because the way that we saw it with her was we had this beautiful time with her. Okay, we had her in our life. When we had her in our life, things were golden. Okay? Yes. When she passed away, the gold was gone. She was gone. Happiness. Okay? Happiness from her, it couldn't stay. And that's the way you can see it's a lot to do about life and death as well. Right, we have that time in our life with someone, but then it doesn't stay. What does stay though is the memories, and memories can be golden. So I want to kind of, before I get you guys doing your questions, I want to leave you on that more positive with this poem, is that good, new good things come along. That's the part of life, that's what makes life interesting. If new things didn't come along, it would be boring. Okay, things change, new things come along, we hold on to the memories. All right, what you need to do now that we've kind of, I've gone through that with you to my best ability, I feel right now. Match the following ideas. Good times cannot last forever. Describes the early morning colours. Realisation that things are always as beautiful as they seem. There's often sadness in life. Disguise the past of beauty and good times. So you have to match that each one with what line you think it is about in the poem. Like this one, the stands on um, like the, like the section of the poem, okay. the lines. Then you have to, what do you think it is saying? How does it apply to the characters in the novel? At this point, how can you think it applies to the characters in the novel? Oh, Ponyboy thinks he's cool. Okay, Ponyboy, what else? Um, so they were like in peace and everything, they didn't get in trouble and everything. But then after all what they did, yep. now everything's like grief. Yep, so they're going so they're going for that moment of grief, yep. Um in the book like since they went to uh, church and then they'll like they can see sunrise and everything and then uh, they're like in the medical world and everything and then yep. when sunrise finished they go back to reality. So the reality what they're in, yep, very good, yep. So it started off like um fighting when he was hanging out with uh with pretty boy I forgot who we were hanging out with. And then um he went home and then it sort of just started going down. The dairy? Yep. Yeah. What about also Pony Boy's parents? He doesn't have any. His parents have passed away? Oh. Okay. There's a parents left it. So there's a few things you could try and connect that to. Then you need to think of a time in your life when you can relate to it. You can if you don't want to say something personal, you can talk about a haircut, right? <laughs> or you can go on a bit of a deeper level. Okay? That is what you have to get done. You've got 15 minutes, go. Oh. Oh.